हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई विल टॉक अबाउट फोर्थ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द टॉपिक काइनेटिक्स ऑफ पार्टिकल्स एनर्जी एंड मोमेंटम मेथड आई हैव ऑलरेडी शेयर्ड वन फाइल विद यू 9.4.20 सो दिस इज द सेकंड न्यूमेरिकल ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर फाइल लेट अस रीड द न्यूमेरिकल व्हाट ही सेस अ बॉडी ऑफ 5 किलोग्राम मास इज इनिशियली एट रेस्ट ऑन अ हॉरिजॉन्टल सरफेस म्यू इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट 2 एंड इज एक्टेड अपॉन बाय अ 2 अ 20 न्यूटन पुल अप्लाइड हॉरिजॉन्टली so this is the system given to us there is a block of weight of mass 5 kg it is resting on a surface where coefficient of friction is 0.2 and uh, on this block a pull of 20 newton along horizontal is acting now what we are asked to calculate the work done by the net force on the body in 5 seconds okay so we are dealing with the work energy principle it means this particular equation is applicable initial kinetic energy plus work done on the system from stage 1 to 2 is equal to final kinetic energy so that means first of all we need to draw the free body of this particular problem so how to represent the free body show the block on us on the surface on that block represent its weight acting in downward direction mass is given 5 kg multiply by 9.81 corresponding to that weight add normal pressure then next force acting on the block is 20 newton pull along horizontal then as the block as the motion is towards right it means the frictional force will act in opposite direction so these four forces you have to show in the free body of this particular block let us represent the its stages also this is the initial stage stage 1 this is the final stage stage 2 so at stage 1 v1 is equal to 0 why because he says in the problem that initially at rest then at stage 2 the final velocity is represented by v2 which we don't know and in this problem distance between stage 1 and stage 2 is not given so it is represented as x but what is given it is given that the work done by the net force on the body in 5 seconds it means the time taken by the body from stage 1 to stage 2 is given to us which is Five seconds. So that time is known, but distance is not known. Okay. So this is the free body, and uh, the data is labeled on the free body. So let us uh, see the equation, and let us uh, uh, find these variables one by one. Let us start with the first variable, that is the initial kinetic energy. Now, what is initial kinetic energy? It is equal to half m v one square. V one is already uh, given zero in the problem because system was initially at rest. So initial kinetic energy is zero. the next variable in the equation is work done uh, on the block by this system from stage 1 to stage 2 so that is uh, equal to that will be equal to t2 minus t1 when you will bring this particular variable on the other side Uh, now the next step to find is the final kinetic energy of the system final kinetic energy of the system next variable is that is half m v2 square now half mass is 5 kg v2 square v2 we have we don't know so final kinetic energy will be 2.5 v2 square now as i said that uh, this particular work done that is the uh, variable third variable in this particular equation that will be equal to t2 minus t1 now we have calculated t1 we have calculated t2 and we have to find what work done by the net force so work done by the net force will be equal to t2 minus t1 so that is why this equation is written work done is equal to t2 minus t1 t1 is already zero it means work done is equal to 2.5 v2 square but over here you see final velocity is there which is the variable we don't know fine so let us first uh, we have to find this particular variable if we are able to find this variable only then we will get our first answer that is work done by the net force on the body in 5 seconds okay so let us see what we can do in order to find v2 now you see in this particular problem what is happening actually this particular block is under the effect of some forces fine so block is moving towards right so i can say this is summation f that summation f is responsible for what that is responsible for m a fine newton's second law so we have the option in this particular problem that is apply summation fx is equal to m a so let us use this equation let us see what we can get from this equation so that equation is applied here summation fx is equal to m a so how many x direction forces 20 and friction force so 20 minus f is equal to m is 5 kg a 
now 20 what is f mu n mu is 0.2 and how, uh, what will be n and we have to calculate so what fundamental we have to apply that all vertical forces acting on the block their sum must be equal to zero because the motion of the body along y direction is uh, is not there fine so we will apply summation of y equal to zero from that particular equation we will get value of n so put that value of n here and you will get acceleration of the block fine so through this concept we are able to find one variable acceleration of the block for those five seconds which is the distance between stage one and stage two the acceleration is 2.038 but what was our motive our motive was we have to find the final velocity okay now let us think that what else we can apply in this particular problem now next what we can apply that this particular block is moving along a straight path so it is a rectilinear motion and it is accelerated motion so it is uniformly accelerated motion it means again three equations are applicable v is equal to u plus at v square minus u square is equal to 2 as then s is equal to ut plus half at square from those three equations we have to see what which equation we can apply in this particular problem based on the data we have so let us see what data we have we have acceleration and we have time five seconds but we don't have distance so it means we can't apply those equations in which distance is involved it means those two equations are s is equal to ut plus half at square v square minus u square is equal to 2s so these two equations can't be applied so we are left with only one equation that is v equal to u plus at so what is v over here final velocity that is v2 so v2 is equal to u plus at so initial velocity was zero u u is e equal to v1 initial velocity and acceleration we have already found from this particular equation that is 2.038 time is time we know that is 5 second so when this particular acceleration will be uh, will happen for 5 seconds so we will get the final velocity as 10.919 meter per second now you see we got the v2 put this v2 in this particular equation you will get your first answer that the, that is the work done by the net force on the body in 5 seconds now what next he says in the b part change in the kinetic energy of the body in five seconds now you see what is change in kinetic energy change in kinetic energy is t2 final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy that is that is a change in kinetic energy so that is equal to what it is again equal to work done only so in the b part also answer will remain same i hope uh, this particular numerical is clear to you thank you very much